Hello, I'm Andrew Lucy, and welcome back, of course, to Hunts of Iron 4 as People's Republic of China. We're trying to take down Australia, Dutch East Indies, and Second Brazilian Republic right now. However, the enemy have a good deal of control of the sea, which is going to cause issues when I'm trying to do this. So, we're going to have to tough it out. It's going to be difficult to move our troops around, but once we do, we shouldn't have too much of an issue, provided we can actually get them in position. Right now, our Marines are preparing to attack over here. We have got Control C, I believe. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to just give you orders to go out and do your thing. Yeah. One, two, three. And then... Get you to go out as well. Right. That actually gives control of the sea. The Arctura Sea? Where's the Arctura Sea? Complain about you complain about going through the Optura Sea or something like that. Arafura Sea. You're okay. You're okay. Arafura Sea. You're okay. Where's the Arafura Sea? Arafura Sea. Is it here? Error. No, it doesn't work for C's. Ah. Error for a C. Okay. So it's you. It must be this one. Oh, we have units here. Confused. Oh, no, it says that. Gulf of. Oh, it said for a moment. Not that, that was necessary, but I wanted to do a ping. Uh, I have no idea what this place is. Does it say anywhere? No. Does not say. Right. Why do we not have control of that? What is missing? It says that we have someone in that area. I guess they, there's just not enough of them? They do look pretty bare bones. Well, luckily, I have a contingency plan in place. you head down here, we should be okay. There we go. They're ready. Go, 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 go. Go, my pretties. Fly! They don't actually fly, because if you are flying, there's something definitely wrong with your boat. It's not designed for them. Oh, hello. Ah, that's quite the battle there. Hmm. We should probably use our air points we've got built up. That's surely something we could buff. Okay, not bad. Maybe carry naval bombers? Ok. 
Carrier, fighter. Carry naval bomber. Yeah, apparently. Um, push the attack up to the max. Don't need range to be higher. Push reliability to max. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Carrier. There we go. Another fight. They're bringing a heavy cruiser as a bigger ship. Yeah, we got this. We've got some pretty large battleships of our own. Yeah, super heavy battleships and everything. Promise they tend to disengage before we can get them, because the super heavy battleship so takes so long to get in position. Which is fine. Maybe we should up our, you know, light cruisers so we can actually get to them, engage them. Maybe just upgrade some light cruisers, make them pretty tanky. Again. Aircraft help. So we can hit them with stuff before they get a chance to uh, disengage. Oh. We've got no one defending this. Yeah, I think they're tied up somewhere else right now. Oh, no. Whoops. Oh, they're having to back out of that fight. Ah! There we go. It's because they were in that fight over there, so they couldn't come protect this, so... Hopefully they will get there in time. There we go. To the rescue. Right. Now you've landed. Uh, you can have a commander, because we can afford one. And then... Go aggressive and uh, give an offensive line. Basically, the idea being just to grab everything. Try and force the Dutch East Indies out of the war, because technically they are now part of the war in a big way. Realistically, they don't matter, but I need to get them to peace out. So, peace out they shall. I love the fact that one unit's going this way, as everyone else is like, I'm gonna go this way. The eye does have a tendency to do that, where it's like, I will commit all my units to one flank. Strange. As soon as they get there, they'll attack. But it's just weird that when you tell them to do that, they're like, I'm gonna attack one and twenty. Not ten and eleven, but one and twenty. And if you try and do a naval invasion in several provinces, you'll often find they go one, one, twenty-one, one. Which is why I only ever attack with one unit these days. You can't trust him. Again, attack him with one up there. Oh, game is properly chugging now. Excellent. You... Go like that. Why have you not attacked? We still don't have control of the authority? Oh. Okay. Then why did everyone else attack? Oh no, you are attacking. Okay. So, question. Who's meant to be doing this attack? Oh! How long have you been stuck in that battle? Damn! A long time, apparently. 
Oh, the game is really chugging. Really chugging. Oh, God. I'm going to slow down time a little bit. I'm going to put it on three times. Might help. Oh, they got one of the convoys. It's calculating something every eight hours because we're sticking on eight and sticking on 16. There we go. We're sticking on 16. There's something it's calculating now, which it maybe wasn't before or wasn't as big a thing. Must be something to do naval stuff, possibly. And there we go. End of day as well. It's every eight hours that something's getting calculated. Why are you predicting that but not Sydney? Nah, I might need to reload the game, possibly. This, uh, this slowdown is getting tiring fast. Okay, uh, go aggressive. Go offensive line. Your most important thing is just to grab those. You're still fighting. Very well. I'm going to pause it here. I'm back in a sec. I'm just going to go relog the game. Alright, so hopefully this will help. Uh, oh god, no it's not. We'll try and persevere, but this, this could be the end of this game if this is a thing. I don't know where it's just started now. It's started all of a sudden. It must be related to our attack on Australia, at a guess. Alternatively, there's some sort of weird kill switch inbuilt. Must be something to do with battle. That's my only guess. It's strange, because normally uh, your infantry get to escape from these sort of situations, but... Is that moving? Is that line moving? Okay. Pause the game. What is the biggest issue here? Their air power. How do we solve that? By sheer force of air power. Do, do I not have a... I don't have a air base nearby. Okay, I can't solve that problem. That's a problem! Ah, right. Okay, for start, why are you not attacking that? Oh, you are. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Must be that battle. You're not even necessary. I'm, I'm going to tell you to go back. Can I can I cancel your order? I don't seem to be able to stop you. Go home. Go home. Okay, apparently it just unselected them for me. That's weird. Weird things are happening. Why? Okay, instead of trying to solve this that way, let's grab you and assign you over here. We're just going to put all of our forces into one area. Try and overpower them. Go straight for Melbourne.
I mean, what you have is like 40 subs, which is not really going to pose too much of a threat, and a billion planes, which is annoying. Maybe we need more destroyers. Hmm. I guess these marines have been... I've got to call this a bug at this stage. They don't seem to be moving. They should have moved out of this battle. I think they're locked in the battle for some reason until they all die. The ships probably aren't, but it's probably the troops that are. So what I might do is just grab all the ships and just tell them to, like, leave. Um, hold. And go back to Singapore. Uh, put you on hold as well. I'm actually going to get you to go to Singapore because you're such a small unit now. And, well, same for you, I guess. It's going to kill this unit of marines. I'm not salty about the game. Effectively murdering my marines. Oop. Oh, we lost a carrier. Damn. Maybe getting faster going through these third of the day blocks. I think it is getting faster. I think it's this battle. God knows why. There we go. Please. Yes, it was that battle. Whew. Right. The game continues. Uh, are you not going to where I told you to go? You should go where I told you to go. Right. Australia, how close are you to capitulating now? Because we've got your main population centers. Dutch East Indies are pretty close, Australia are pretty close. Okay. Yeah, time should give us it. No, there's no heavy ships there capable of fighting them off. Let's have a look. Production. We will need more destroyers. I think that's pretty evident. And I'm thinking we probably want to tweak our light cruisers. I actually got quite a few destroyers being built. Huh. I guess we want more? Destroyer. Maxed out anti submarine warfare. Could max the anti-air as well. Oh, we can't actually. Nowhere near enough points. I'll just get more destroyers for now. And then... Not that we have the... Places for this, but we probably want to get ourselves some light cruisers as well. Right. Okay. Uh, if you could press up here and grab that, that would be great. Up to Brisbane. I'm 
trying to get them to detach. They just won't. And they're getting murdered because of it. But if I just keep getting them to move, they eventually will back out of the fight. There we go. However, yeah, it's this unit here. It's just locked. I just can't move them. That's what's causing the issues. It's good to know. It's frustrating, but it's good to know. Right. Oh. Insufficient resources. Chromium. Hello, 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 Chromium. Uh, I guess we can... I'll get some from Finland. Mongolia. That'll help for now. It's only an extra four, though. Hey, Dutch East Indies, you gonna give up? There we go. Thank you very much. Eleven units actually managed to get out there. All right, Australia. Ninety percent. Guess we do really need to capture Brisbane. Let's just surround you so you run out of supplies. If only an extra unit had landed up here, eh? Might have helped. For some reason I can't group you? Oh, because they're attached and currently repairing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cancel your repair task and merge you manually. Why can't I get you to do that? There we go. I guess they're just splitting off in port or something? That's weird. I didn't think they should do that. Oh, we got Brisbane. How close are they now? Ah, oh, two percent. Are there any obvious targets that we can pursue for that 2%? Yeah, Adelaide. Five? Five victory points. Might not get us 2%. Might just about get us 2%. It's going to be a toss-up. Here we go. Uh, what is that? There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so... You... Can surround that. You can surround that. Um, you can surround that. And you can surround that. Right. 
Who nuked some... Who nuked Tasmania? Was that Russia? Is that Russia's idea of helping? I think that's Russia's idea of helping. That's weird helping, mate. Fair dues, though. You're trying. Uh, right. I guess we've got to get you to Brazil somehow. Marines took a bit of a brawling. How long until we've got heavyweights ready? Uh, not too long. Chromium is still an issue. I would like a... Uh, oh, there we go. Excellent Northern Territory. Thank you very much. Absolute lifesaver. Because we're going to call in a bunch of jet fighters. In fact, I'm going to call in 2,000 jet fighters. And you know what? 2,000 jet fighters and 1,000... Sorry, 1,000 jet fighters and 1,000 uh, naval bombs, if I can find them. Oh god, I'm so glad I have this list, but even then, this is a nightmare. Naval bomber, there we go. Hopefully, that'll help. Are you there yet? No? Are you still deploying? There we go, now they're there. How are the repair jobs going? Now they join up. Interesting. I have to wait until next year for you to be- Oh! Okay, now it's just a weird thing. Still waiting to get our carries and stuff. Once we get those, I think we can pull the units out. What we'll do is we'll pull the Marines out, put them here, then get the Marines to go across land to here. And then we'll shift the naval support from here. Just pull all of our naval support out and put them here. And that way we can shift our units to the United States. How many made it across? Oh, most of our units made it across. Interesting. I thought most of our MPs were going to get murdered in the sea, but they actually did manage to get it. Alright. Oh, how about up here? Okay, for some reason you've decided that you can't be bored pushing forwards. I'm going to just have to manually fix that for you. Because you are lazy. And then we'll move those units from there to there. And then we can attack Brazil. And we should be good.
What's your port level here? I'd like more. Either way, I can still attack out of here. Mutiny's in the army. They will not attack the enemy? What? What is going- what, I've, what is this? Okay, uh, we can't do anything about it for now. Surround the mutants units with loyalists and order them to stand down. Hold a patriotic speech. I'm gonna surround the mutants units with loyalists and let them stand down. Sure. Takes 30 days to implement. Okay. Right, good. Uh, all of you are happy. I'm just going to get you all just to come over here and stand there. And then we'll have to move them out. I need to finish this section before that. Get to come back here and we can always jump across to help them out if we need to. I guess what we'll do is I'll take our marines to here, take our marines up to there, win this, and then we can jump out of here to here. Only one province. That's the quickest way to move them, probably. Right. Meanwhile, how are we doing over here? Uh, fine. Loads of artillery. Everything else is good. Lots of military equipment. Hell, we can make more units at this point. How are we doing for tanks and stuff? Great as well. How about... I don't know, mechanized? Loads. Absolutely loads. Uh, I guess we will train more infantry. You know what, we'll go to 72. Why not? You know what, more than that. We'll go to 96. Might be pushing it. And apparently that is not pushing it. Well. We have a lot of supplies. Yeah, we're starting to run out over here. Okay, are we good with that navy yet? We've got a carrier. I was hoping we could have a super large battleship as well. How close are you to deploying one of those? June... Yeah, it's not looking great. I think we need a few less submarines, so I'm gonna shift one of these submarines down to the bottom. this destroyer up to here. Okay. Do we wait for that super heavy? I mean, we'll also have a heavy cruiser at the same time. A couple of heavy cruisers, I think. Yeah, I think we'll wait for that. Chromium's still a big issue for us. There's not much we can do about that. Like, the obvious ones are here, but we've buffed everything we can. Yeah, I don't think there's any more we can really take advantage of. Steel, yes. Chromium, no. 
I will accept your expeditionary units. Soviet Union, you're going to regret that. Oh, damn. M medium tank? Really medium tanks? Okay. Very well. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be really, really mean. Hi. Those on Ascenders Visions, they're going to be so helpful. Do we have more Russians around anywhere? Because when we did, propping up some of our units. Somewhere around here. Uh, okay. Accept the click. Thank you. Maybe they're further over? Oh! There we go. Hi. Where are you? Ah, uh, I got you to guard your own position. That's fine. Well, um, you know what? I've got a really important job for you. I need you to come, uh, here. Yes. Yes, I need you to go there. And uh, also, also here, it's a very important job. I'm sure you will be absolutely fine at it. There will be no issues whatsoever. None whatsoever. Uh, I've got two carries, actually. You know what? I'm going to go now. I'm impatient. Mutiny crushed. Hope that's the last of it. Guess that's a new admiral. Okay, how's the air power thing going over here? Yeah, fine. Okay. How long will you take to get to your destination? Uh, probably at that rate, like a week. So you should be okay to travel soon. The Navy's nearly in position. Nope, where are they? I can't see them. Did they get into a fight or something? Oh, no, they're there. Okay. Right. Convoy escort. Who detached? Eight. Okay, eight are left behind, including super heavy battleship, heavy cruisers, heavy battleship, carry it. Mm. It's a lot of firepower. Okay. Which reminds me. We can probably make an adjustment to our firepower. Uh, naval f carrier fighter. There we go. Carrier fighter 3. Uh, I hope that says Mark 1 there. Reliability up a little bit. Oh, that's range. Whoops. What's your reliability right now? 60%? That'll do. Carry a naval bomber. Carry a naval bomber. There we go. Mark one. Um, oh, 
No, you're fine. I don't know what we upgrade now. I guess we've got some... You know what? We'll upgrade our close air support. Uh, range? Yeah, sure. Oh, the reliability goes down the toilet. Okay. That's pretty much it then. Not got enough naval to really bother yet. Okay, I want you to head to here. Why are you taking that route? That's the weirdest. No, don't. Just don't. Stop. Stop that. Don't. Don't do that. Oh, God, I hate the fact you can't change that. <sighs> right, can you change the order now? Yes, okay. Now, if you send your navy to come get me, I can murder your navy and hopefully your airplanes at the same time. Or not. Okay, that's that's fine. Don't take the bait. I don't need you to take the bait. Yeah. No, why are you doing that? That's the weirdest route to take. Since they're using air power over there to try and beat me, I'm going to just chuck in some fights of my own. Oh my god, so many! Yeah, well within the range. You know what? I'm just gonna chuck you in the bin. There we go. Okay, land those troops. You on the front line. And you should be able to win that pretty quick. Okay, right, now to get you back to land, once we get to the other side. Cover that area. The Russians have been intercepted. Isn't that a crying shame? Oh no, it's terrible. What are you... Oh god, what have you done with your front line? What have you done with your front line? Oh, just attack there. And half of you... I'm just going to get to run down here. Oh god, that's just... Oh no... Can't trust him. 
Can't trust him at all. Oh, I can nuke you without having to put my strategic bomber on there. Okay, I must have made that change. I was wondering about that. There we go. Nuked. Nuke you. Nuke you. Nuke you. Nuke you. Nuke you. You've probably guessed my new policy is if you mess with me, I'm just going to nuke you. It's not particularly hard to guess. Or you get nuked several times. That also works. Oh, hello. Oh, it's one destroyer. Just hoping it'd be a bit more impressive. Again, they're resisting. Okay, keep nuking them. You have a fort on you, so you're going to get nuked automatically. There we go. Better. When are you going to escape? A day. Okay. Oh, hello. We're in 1959 now. And the war's still going strong. A lot of the Brits in the US have managed to escape to here. Yeah, you go to there, you go to there, because that's also where they've got some of their planes stored. In fact, that's where we've got a lot of less planes stored. Nuke it. Suddenly it has no planes stored there. There we go. Nukes are helpful. Oh, 24 tanks. So good. I don't need them right now. Uh, in fact, I can't really use them very easily. When we attack uh, Brazil, we're going to be in pretty heavy rainforest. What I will need them for is the attack on uh, Russia. This will be fun. It's gone? I'm confused. Oh well. Either way, they're getting a nuke on their face. My policy is solid. Don't see any issues with it. Oh, hi there. How are those Russian troops doing? Not as many of them have died as I thought. I 
I think we need to change that. Mm, where else is contested area? Around Japan, really. Yeah. All right, where were we? Uh, down here. Ah, we killed him off. We just need to grab the land and then we can go. Sweet! Uh, you no longer need to do that. On the second thought, I probably should have gotten to cover the Marines. Oh, there's still one last one. Moving through terrain, which is rainforest that I have also nuked, is actually tough, apparently. Since there's, like, no roads and just debris everywhere. A lot of wood chippings and splinters. It's, it's a bit of a pain. And there we go. Right. So, if you wouldn't mind. Grab yourself up there and uh, head over here. Where is our navy? Where is our neighbor that's meant to be guarding this? We have a neighbor that's meant to be guarding this. Where are they? They're not active, but where the hell are they? I don't know. No, they're not in a fight. They would still register us. <sighs> nope. Not you. You. There's no way of really telling who or where they are. It should be a large fleet, right? Okay. So we're learning a few things here. Um, they may have been just destroyed? Flip star mission, flip star mission, flip star mission. Okay. Ah, uh, mm, ah. Let go of shift without clicking anything instantly causes you to uh, take control of those, which is frustrating. Shift is a modifier key. It shouldn't affect anything by letting go of it. I feel strongly about that. You're not a mission. I don't think you have missions either, so I'm going to take control of you.
Oh no, all these Russian troops that they gave me keep on getting murdered, it's terrible. Where are those troops you just gave me? Hi. Oh, god damn it. Okay, that's... Six. Uh, excuse me, I double clicked. You should give me both of those. Thank you. And I'm gonna assign you to join the Russians. Enjoy! <laughs> oh, I am mean, but to be fair, the Russians deserve this. Right. Meanwhile, No one's being guarded as they head up here. Do we have a comparable fleet yet? It's good enough, it will do. So, we're getting in position. It's time to get ourselves a goodly amount of uh, actual naval forces going. That's one hell of a veteran carrier. Yeah, we might have to take this out because they have got planes based. In fact, there's a lot of planes based there. Um, you know what? We can send some planes to go do that for us. Fighter. That's naval bomber. Close support. Fighter, 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 fighter. Yep, that's all jet fighters. And you move to, move to there. We could do port attack as well if we wanted, if we think they're basing their ships up here. But I'm more interested in you, King. There we go. Trying to nuke this island. There we go. I want to get rid of any infrastructure they've got. Particularly that. 6.6 thousand. Yeah, that's just crazy. That's better. And we'll just nuke you once more to make sure. Right. Operation Moose. We're still down a few uh, unfortunate people. I think what we'll do is we'll collapse you into there, take four of you, and put you in there. Take three of you, put you in there. Now, up four units of Marines. Well, three and a three quarter one. Ah, three and a two third one. Ugh. 
Oh, it's good enough to get started with. What we'll do is we'll get you to set up for an invasion. And we'll probably go from here to here. That way there's only two. Because the enemy's going to be taking you know, this important stuff as opposed to up here, which is a bit of a mess. It's all rainforest. Uh, so we will start from here with the aim of hitting them here. Uh, you can start from here. Aim pitting them Rio de Janeiro. You can start from there. Aim for them just up here. And either we hit them there or hit them. I think we'll hit them down below. With our cut strength unit. Right. Oh, that is that technically a different zone though? Yeah, we'll hit them here instead. Keep the C zones to a minimum. And they are going to take a land route. Excellent. Right, that is helpful. That's for you. Hold. Go here. Also get you to go over here. Where's the other naval assets? Hmm. That's a lot of carriers, though. Five carriers. Mm, a couple of super heavy battleships, a few heavy cruisers. That's good. And I was sending another squad down. Yeah, most support ships in this one. Which I think is going to combo quite nicely. Okay, so with that, we've got enough here to make two good groups or one large group. We're gonna go two good. Get you guys in charge. Uh, we'll set you first because you're gonna be the big one. Is there any good limits for your network capacity? Three, two, Two, three. Okay. What about uh, up here that we've captured? Three, one, two, two, three. Okay, the Americans must have something. Five. Five. Five is really? The Americans have got a limit of five. Uh, maybe it's damage, maybe. I don't know. All right, now based in Louisiana. And then convoy escort. Uh, yes, I want to automate split off, pair priority medium, convoy escort, and uh, yeah, that's about all I can do. Right, so yeah, people have to come down here before leaving through these ports, but we should be able to cover them. Meanwhile, you. Uh, your job is going to be... That. Also, double up by covering that. Uh, and where do we want to base you? Brittany works. Brittany's pretty close. Or at least compared to some of the other choices. Okay. 
Really? Are you basing airplanes out of here? That's not allowed. Okay. You need to be told off for that. Nuke you. I'm trying to select the island, god damn it. Thank you. There we go. No planes for you. Those, yeah, there we go. This fleet's going to take their time getting over here. Which is, of course, totally acceptable. They're pretty far away, you know, pretty much around the other side of the world. But once they're in position, we can start moving our troops. I'm just a little bit afraid of what the Americans have in terms of a navy. Because we haven't really had to fight them on a, you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe basis. Mostly it's been a case of we're trying to get units past them and we're slowing them down with our navy. We haven't actually had to try and kill them off. Everyone else we use, you know, bombers, etc. Or eventually our own navy. The Americans still have a navy somewhere. And there's not really any upkeep on a navy. I mean, I think there is an upkeep, but it's very minimal and doesn't really come to play. Uh, the AI has consistently walked around with a navy even when I've destroyed most of their homeland and nearly all their islands they will have one island left with navies of you know 10 carriers and 15 battleships and it won't make a difference that's normally Japan it's still Japan at the moment right we're protecting that Okay. Okay, you're going this way. For some reason, you didn't actually draw the direction you were going, so I got kind of confused there. Right. We are covered. Let's do this. I would like you to... Uh, where's the order? Thing that pops up? Wait, what's going on? Oh, great, you can actually get some stuff. Um, planning speed. That's that's it. you got to pick one. Oh, that sucks. Okay, where's the thing that pops up saying, Oh, you can move your units, etc. That stopped popping up. Well, this is great. I can't give my units orders right now. Well, I guess this is a good place to end the episode. Is it because I was in Navy? It's because I was in Navy. Okay. Alright, we don't have to end the episode then. Things do tend to get weird and break down, so I'm kind of looking out for... Ooh, we left Portugal alive. We should kill Portugal off. You know, we'll do that in passing. Um, it should be relatively easy to transfer some forces over there.
Yeah, we just need to take you, remove that, and protect the African coast. And then we can hopscotch up to Portugal. Now, because you are neutral... Ah, we can use retake core state Macau. That'll give us good reason. What else have we got? Uh, unit there that needs to get killed off. Unit there. Yeah, we can do that with units we've got in position. Excellent. War support. Oh, damn. 8%? Why? Uh, okay, I guess we need to make some decisions for war support. That's That must have been why we had a, a really low people are going to mutiny. Dismantle, you know what? Dismantle the Maginot Line, sure. That war support, though. Eek. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. For now, I've been Eric If you like, like, and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. But until next time, stay journey.